But I need you to send the photo of what you took photo of. They are trying to remove this evidence of my Facebook, which is very coverish. But they do so amateuristic. Very am amateuristic, yeah. <laughs> They don't give her proper food. She's scared there in her life situation from the foster parents. And what you said is like she has to think before she answers because she's afraid to answer wrong. And it's like she's kind of locked up in this room. And like she asked me to ask uh, the CPU and uh, the foster home to ask for food. Mm -hmm. So it's like she cannot go out of the room and ask herself for something, like she's locked up. Psychically, psychologically breaking down the situation. 2015 already, just one year in C CPU so-called care in Froland. I have sent this picture from the screenshot on Facebook uh, to your uh, Sahara Angel uh, uh, Yeah, but just send it on Messenger. Yeah. They are a little bit clever now. They take her out from this. And bring her back home. The longer she is in this, the longer punishment they will get in jail. Even to ask for food, they get angry at her. I don't understand religion, but I understand fear. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's very scared. I can't believe this is really sick people. Crazy, sick people in the head. So Ingeborg Andreasen, this is a message to you, CPU leader Frolan Kommun. You take her out of this place and what she is exposed to now. And then I mean now. <laughs>